I see this horse-like creature. It was a dog. It was like a Great Dane. Just come running by me and start bowling kids over. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and a few seconds later, I see the owner chasing the dog. But beachgoers have complained a renegade dog is on the loose. Harry's makes a citizen's arrest using a surfer's leg rope as a leash. He was just having a good old day at the beach, running over the top of people, so you got to hold him and... Hey, 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 hey. He's a bit, he's a bit mad. Sit, sit. You got to try and show him who's boss. Sit. Hey, oh, oh no. <laughs> he's pulled his leg. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is man's worst nightmare right now. <laughs> man's best friend will be held in custody until a council ranger arrives. Has come to the tower with an injury no lifeguard has ever seen before. I saw this guy come shuffling towards me, and the next minute he's just gone. I've just been bitten on a beep 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 by a dog. Imagine his poor his poor girlfriend or poor wife. She won't be getting any love for a bit. That's the worst thing that could ever happen to a man. How? Why? What was going on? He was very lucky that there was intensive care paramedics that are already in the tower that had just treated a patient. And they said it was the most horrific thing that they've ever seen. There was no blood. He wasn't that much in pain, so there's only one thing I can think of. He would have been in shock. I've seen a lot of weird injuries, but that's the worst. To avoid any confusion, the paramedic clarifies how serious the injury is. The dog has torn the skin from the base down to the tip. Do you know who owns the dog? Yeah, he's my mate's dog. It was an accident. I don't know if I could really describe what I saw, but um, it wasn't bleeding at all, so that's probably lucky, but I would hate to see that ever again. Have you ever had any of this before? Uh, not quite like that. Oh, Imagine it never returned to working order again. You'd be heartbroken. Paul's mate doesn't help the situation. I just hope you can fix it. I'll be able to fix it. Yeah. 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 It's easy. Just, you're not, you're not waking up for sex for a while. I'll tell that right now. <laughs> as long as I can have it one day again. That's <laughs> bad, mate. There's a lot of Chinese whispers of how it really did happen. I heard it was a chihuahua. Could have been a labradoodle. I reckon it was a female for sure. <laughs> Paramedics arrive to take Paul to hospital. No one misses out on inspecting the injury themselves. I've seen the pictures of the aftermath and after surgery, and <laughs> he's bloody brave, that's for sure. Weeks after a dog bit him in a very private place, local resident Paul has returned to reveal all. Hey, mate. Paul, oh, must must have been, it must have been a scary day. Oh, it was, it was. I was freaking out. Is this the dog again? Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't mean no harm. It was an accident. So what's the go? What happened? Because we I just... took Zeus for a swim. As I went to dive over him, he must have thought there was a ball there and he's jumped up and nipped me. And um, I didn't want to look in the water, so I swam back in and I've looked and I've freaked out a bit. Luckily, there was an ambulance here and you guys helped me out, so... Yeah. So how many stitches did you end up getting? Oh, it was about 100, around the 100 mark, so, yeah. yeah. Such a mellow dog. It's yeah, like I said, it was an accident. Yeah. He's a good boy, you know? Yeah. Lifeguards are given an opportunity to inspect the repair work performed by doctors. <laughs> They've done a good job, but yeah. they give it to the doctors. Yeah. They've, they've fixed you up good, mate. Can't, can't even really notice it. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Paul is thankful it wasn't worse, and the doctors have restored everything to its former glory. Meanwhile, Harry's lost dog is still in custody. 
Racing, number five coming around the straight. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, stop it. I let the dog go. He's, he's trying to game me. He's too mad. Harry's calls for backup to apprehend the escapee. So, how many lifeguards does it take to apprehend one stray dog? Lots. <laughs> Broke up with my girl of two years. We had a dog together. Uh, it was her dog originally, so she got him, won the, won the custody battle and took him away. So, unfortunately, I need a little bit of something in my life. You know, being a lifeguard and having the instincts of rescuing things, I, I like the idea of going out and rescuing a dog. Um, so I'm going to head over to the pound and um, hopefully find myself a, a nice little rescue dog. At the dog pound, it's love at first sight. His name's Muggsy. He was named after a little basketball player that was only five foot who used to play for the Charlotte Hornets named Muggsy Bogues. With Muggsy by his side, Reedy is getting some unexpected benefits. Is he your favourite? <laughs> He's saying, what are those things? What are those two things? I don't have them. Out of the flag area. On patrol, Harry's and Skeeny spot an illegal <laughs> trespasser. I see this horse-like creature. It was a dog. It was like a Great Dane. Just come running by me and start bowling kids over. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> and a few seconds later, I see the owner chasing the dog. As soon as I got in the vehicle, and he just jams himself under my leg. <laughs> Skeeny has to get out of the buggy and come around to my side, the driver's side, and, and grab the dog. I've got him, I've got him, I've got him. I've walked back around and seen him on that side. I've got him, let go of him, let go of him, I'll walk you back now. And then sit up. Come on. We both had to wrangle the dog to get it back in the vehicle. The poor owner's just watching the whole time. I really think that for every occasion, you do need a song. And there's no better song than... How much is the dog in the window? Oh, so much trouble! <laughs> He <laughs> was talking bad down the flag. He's so beautiful. He's so much trouble. If I could find him, no, no, he'd be right. You know, when you have a Great Dane slash horse, you know you need different defensible measures than walking a Chihuahua along the promenade or up in the car park. So, you know, maybe having a couple of ropes on that dog or a lasso or something ready to go before it hops out of the car next time. <laughs> <laughs> 